I wonder why. I can't believe it's only been three months since you came here. I feel like a brand new person, you know what I mean? Yeah, I really do. Isn't it a beautiful morning, Director Stack? It certainly is, Isabel. Miss Kramer, would you mind if I had a word with Mr. Abbott? Not at all. I have a garden to plant. My favorite kind of therapy. And you get tomatoes. Talk to you boys later. Hang around. I'll be right back. You've been spending a lot of time with her. Yeah, I really like her, Director. She has unique energy. Do you realize what one does affects us all? Hang on, Director. She would never hurt us. Keep your distance. That's not a request. Okay, sir. It'd be a shame if she had to leave us. Whatever you say, sir. Hey, what's all this? Thought I'd surprise you. Well, that's awful sweet of you. Anyone see you? No, of course not. But what if they did? Isn't honesty one of the things I'm supposed to be learning here? It is. But we are being honest with ourselves. Isn't that what really matters? Mr. Troy. Yes, sir. I'm headed out. Right now? Sure. Ten minutes? Ten minutes then. Bye. What is it? I don't know. The director called, so I'm going. But what about my rat? It won't take long. Will you give me half an hour? Alright, but at 8.45 I'm feeding your rat to Buster. I'll do everything I can to make it. Just tell him you're with me. That's not even funny. Troy, come on in. Troy, I need you to run down to Raymond's corner and pick up Daniel. Who? Don't worry about it. He's waiting on you. Just get out of here. What's going on? The director's giving you his orders. What are you still doing here? Gotcha. Otto, this threat, this situation needs to be taken care of. Why the hell are you still here? Sure you can trust this shifty bastard to do this? If I wasn't so concerned about your safety, I'd just do it myself. Do you really think Dan can help? Daniel was a director once too, you know. And he knows Obadiah better than anyone. God help us if Obadiah gains access to this porthole. He won't get close to this place. About the security since I found out he was on the loose. I hope you're right. Well, you know what? If he does come here, I own one. You're too late. Everything left is going to Buster. It's nine o'clock. <laughs> Harper. Is your schedule clear the next couple of days? Yes, sir. We have another body. Could be a serial. I need you to head out to Gatlin. Why do I always have to head to the sticks? I'll send you the files. Report in when you get there. Yep. Got it. Head it out now.
about time. Sorry, man. There's no street signs around here. Nah, uh, don't worry about it. But listen, director called and says he wants you to drop me off at the portal. Oh, okay. So, um, you're the one that's supposed to take care of the threat? Excuse me? You know, human girl. Listen, these things have to happen, you know, to protect us. Now, there's something you need to know about your director. Dr. Gaines? You bet. You must be Agent Harper. Oh no, it's okay. I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah, you get used to it. ID? Local girl named Isabel Kramer. Did you find anything else? Yeah, I found what looks like a sobriety coin. Where's the nearest rehab facility? It's uh, up the way a couple miles. Okay. Thank you. That son of a bitch. for, uh, I guess, the director of this facility. What for? Not like it's any of your business, but I'm investigating the murder of a young lady. Okay, let's go. Hey, boss, there's a FBI agent out here wanting to talk to you. Let her in, Otto. Hi, I'm Agent Harper. How can I help you, young lady? I'm investigating the murder of a young lady, a Miss Isabel Kramer. The name doesn't ring a bell. Well, if you don't know her, then why would she have uh, one of these? I don't have all of our clients memorized, dear. Ah, uh, okay. Well, um, could you see if you could find her file for me? I'll need to notify her next of kin. Of course. Otto. You don't mind if I ask around about her, do you? Of course not. Good. Otto, can you accompany Agent Harper? I don't need an escort. No offense, Stretch. But I'm not letting you roam around unattended. Fine. After you.
paranoid much? I just don't like people walking behind me. How do you know someone's not behind you now? Just keep moving. Well, I didn't know Isabel very well, but talk to Troy. I think they had a thing. Okay. Where's this Troy guy? He's the guy that works for us. Uh, we sent him out last night to do an errand. I haven't seen him since. Wait, so you're telling me the victim's boyfriend is missing and you didn't think that was something I would like to know? Listen, lady, I don't know either of them that well. I'm really not in the mood to be fucked with, dickhead. The guy that did this has done it before. And if we don't stop him, he'll do it again. Trust me, I want to find this guy just as bad as you do. Troy, where's Daniel? Doing. Quit disturbing the crime scene. I said quit disturbing the crime scene. That's it, I'm calling for backup. What the hell do you think you're doing? Get up against the wall. Sorry. Did you get the pendant? It's right here. I'm not Daniel. he go? Who was that guy? That was your killer! Where did he go? Who are you people? We're a rehab facility. Oh yeah? Well, I'm sure it's real hard to be a junkie if you're fucking dead. Now tell me the truth. We're... we're not from around here. 